Hey guys, welcome back to Don't Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Wednesday, so let's watch Work on Wednesday. <laughs> so, actually, my whip that I was working on earlier today, I finished. But I gotta make this video now because I've got to take it to my mom so that the woman who's getting it can get it from there. But I finished the chicken leg stump cover <laughs> that I was asked to make. Uh, and I think it turned out pretty good, and the person who asked me for it likes it from the photos that I sent her. Um, so yeah, but anyways, I'm going to show it to you. I did want to say that eventually I am going to write up. I did write down what I did <laughs> to make the the whole thing. Um, and I, I want to try to write it up to give to whoever wants it, you know. And uh, I thought about maybe writing it as a PDF and putting it on my Etsy shop. But, like, I don't know if that's something that would even be worth doing. Because I don't know how many people would want to make a chicken leg-shaped stump cover <laughs> for an amputee. So, I don't know. <laughs> but I'll at least try to write it up for anyone who's interested. I've already had a few people say that they would like it when I get it, uh, you know, written up nice and neat. <laughs> instead of just scribbled. But, anyway. So, the yarns that I used for the chicken leg portion of it, I used I Love This Yarn Sun Gold. This is just a gold color I had in my stash. So, I pulled it out. And then for the leg part, like the chicken yeah. thigh, <laughs> uh, I was originally going to make it white. But the, the girl who wanted it wanted it to be tan color, I guess. Uh, she just wanted the chicken leg. She didn't care if it had, like, the chicken thigh. <laughs> um, so the stump cover is just Red Heart Super Saver Buff. And uh, I know Red Heart is a little rough, but people usually, when they have a stump and they put something on it, they have, like, a sock thing that goes under it first, you know? And then, so uh, I don't think it will irritate the skin any at all um, because of the little sock thing that they wear under things. Anyways, here it is. <laughs> so... I did show the chicken leg um, the other day, my last whip Wednesday. So I did start with the toes. I made two separate toes and then the third one the same way and then I connected them all together. <laughs> kind of like if you're making legs for an amigurumi. And then I made the foot and then like I said I'll write all that down. I did leave a hole in the top of the foot to attach my yarn to make the leg so it'd be one solid piece. And there wouldn't, you know, it looks like it's just one piece but it's, it's not really. <laughs> uh, and then I just... I made the leg just as long as I thought would be right because I, I've never made something like this before so I wasn't sure about the length so I just kind of guesstimated <laughs> but um and then this so this was a separate piece and then I worked separately on the stump cover and what she did is she measured her grandma's um stump and she said it was 25 and a half centimeters around I'm not centimeters inches <laughs> so, Jesse will you bring some more M&Ms in here for sissy just a little handful. So it was uh, 25 and a half inches around. And she measured it 9 inches up. But I did add a little bit extra. Because. You know like the top of your head. You know it's kind of not flat. But you know what I mean. Like it's going to be flat. And then the inches is here. <laughs> so I did end up making mine about a, um, 10 inches long. So that it would. When the leg is in there. It would. Um. You know it's kind of flat right there and then the thigh would be up here so i did measure i measured it a lot i was making it because i was so worried that i wasn't gonna make the right size so i kept i did like a row or two and then i measured it the diameter of it uh because i was so afraid that it would be the right size and i had to pull it out but it does measure right and it is also stretchy so uh so it's basically a giant hat it's like a bigger hat uh and longer you know i guess you could fold it up so it's kind of like a hat just just for your thigh but that's what i did so that is my chicken, my chicken leg stump cover. <laughs> um, I used an H hook for the whole thing, which is a five millimeter, and it's just worth to weight yarn. And eventually, like I said, I will write it up nice and neat because it is just kind of scribbled in my tablet. It's not written very well. Uh, and I did do, I did do uh, half double crochet just so it would go faster. The rest of this is single crochet, but I think it did pretty good for my first time ever making something random like that without a pattern. 100% my own thing. I didn't use because there aren't really many out there. I found a lot of stump covers that are knitted. Um, and then there was that one picture floating around on Facebook of someone who made something similar to this. That was a flamingo leg, and this part was a uh, crocodile stitch. Really cool looking, but I could not find the original posters, posties. <laughs> it was just shared pictures where people like screenshotted and shared it. Um, and even she said in her post that she made up her pattern. So. There's not a lot out there. That's why I said I didn't know if it's worth making a PDF of it in my shop. Because I don't know what the demand for that is. But I still like the chicken foot. And I may make a smaller one of these for like an amigurumi. 
because it, it turned out really well. <laughs> but anyway, so that's what I was working on, but I just finished it right before I started recording. No, 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 no. Yeah. And then, and then the other thing that I finished are my squares that I was making out of the Karen, I think that's Karen Big Cake. I can't remember what it was called. Starlight or something like that. It's like a blue and gray color. So I did finish them all. I think they're 16. Two, four, six, eight, ten. 12, 14, 16. Yeah, so I had enough yarn to make 16 of the squares. And I did weave in all their ends. So they're nice and pretty and ready for me to start working on just the other color squares. Which I mentioned, I'm just pulling some yarns that match this yarn out of my stash. And I'm going to make enough squares to make a blanket. Because I'm trying to use up my cakes. I have a bunch of cakes in my living room. And I want to try to use them up. And then my other go after that will be using up these, all these variegated yarns. And I got kind of stuffed everywhere. <laughs> um... Because I like having a supply of solid colors on hand for amigurumis and things like that. But they, sometimes these very good yarns live in your stash forever because you don't know what to do with them. So I want to try to just use them up and get rid of them. So this is all that was left. It was not enough to make another square. But it is enough. And it's pretty much all the gray. There's a little bit of blue in there. I'll just put this in my scrap bucket. And I can use it for something, I'm sure. Eventually I'll pull it out and use it for something. But I just wound it up. It wasn't enough weight wise to make another whole square so that was it though that was that whole cake i thought it was pretty cool it made 16 squares so, what are you reaching for ma'am but yeah so i wanted to hop on here and show the chicken leg and those squares and then also i went to my thrift store and i found these beads they're glass beads and they were only a dollar 99 and uh i got these to make some more try to make some more of those dragonflies eventually or also, there's also like a, uh, a different craft that I want to do with these that involves chicken wire. And you make like a really cool sun catcher reflector thingy with uh, glass beads. That's something I want to try to do eventually. And then I also got this little notebook. I thought it was so cute. It looks kind of like it's homemade, but it's got a... Uh, it says anything book and it's trademarked and it's got like numbers. So I guess it's like a, a stock number. But it's just a cute little strawberry print. And it's like aged looking. And it's just a line notebook. And it was 89 cents. So I was like, yes, please. Because you never have too many notebooks. <laughs> but, yeah. So that's just what I wanted to hop on here and share with you guys today. And I wanted to let you all see this for sure before I Mama. get rid of it today. <laughs> Did you eat all your m &Ms? Yeah. But I guess that's it. I'm going to go ahead and hop off here and put these yarns back in my wall. And put these squares up. And I got a few more things I got to wrap up this week, and then I can start working on other projects, which I'm looking forward to. This was taking up a lot of my time. This thing took, felt like it took forever because it's like a giant hat. <laughs> just kept going and going and going. I kept measuring it. And I was like, ah. Oh. But I think it's finally good. And the woman who asked for it is happy with it. So I'm hoping that she'll maybe send me a picture of her grandma wearing it. Um, I guess I'll ask her if she could do that. But I'll like blur out her face now. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and hop off here. Let me know what you guys are working on down below. Leave links if you want to. And I'll see you guys in the video. Bye guys.